Hello, so we're back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. I swear, I seen like this month like 10 Acer Nitro. I mean, so many gaming laptops like that, and most of them, you know, cannot be repaired. So, this is the i5 and Nvidia graphics, 144 hertz display, and uh, comes with a very interesting story. So, the customer is saying like that. The laptop is less than one and a half year old. Manufacturer refused to fix. Recommend uh, motherboard replaced. He tried to a local repair shop. But they say they could not find the problem. So uh, you know, I'm quite excited. You know, to have a laptop. The laptop, you know, a laptop which, you know, it's has some mysterious fault like this one. Yeah, so. No one can figure it out what's the problem. So yeah, I'm about to carry a detective work on this laptop and try to fix it. Hmm? So the customer is saying he was able to check the power it's uh, getting to the first MOSFET, but not after. So this is saying a lot. He's saying the input power circuit is disconnecting the power because most likely... Uh, the main power rail is shorted. Now, if it's shorted by some uh, dead uh, GPU MOSFET, we can still disable the GPU, and the customer can have the working laptop on the Intel graphics. If the shorted MOSFET is on uh, CPU, then it's end of story. You know. You know that. But so many Acer Nitro, it's insane. Okay, so the laptop is open. Check here, it's a nice motherboard. Hmm? Let's be sure we are unplugging the battery. So what we are checking first? Huh? Come on, you should know. You should know what we are checking first, yeah? The main power rail. Getting the multimeter, and here, look, check here, yeah? It's so simple. You have the charging port. So from the charging port, the plus line is coming here. First MOSFET, then it's going to the second MOSFET, and then you have the current sensor, which is probably this, or current resistor, however you want to call that. So on the current resistor, we have zero ohms. <laughs> exactly what I told you. One second. You know what? This customer can be lucky. I mean, if it was like a CPU, uh, sure, uh, like a, CPU, a, a shorted CPU MOSFET, then it will have more than zero ohms. But this one has zero ohms, which means can be a dead uh, GPU MOSFET, yeah, or a dead. Uh, a shorter capacitor. Yeah, can be, can be, can be a shorter capacitor, but I'm curious. I mean, clearly, you know, when I say a gaming laptop, I, I know from the beginning, you know, this, it will be a sure video. <laughs> this, it will be a sure video. I mean, either way, uh, it will be short. Okay, so all screws are out. Let's take out the screen connector. Good, and we have to take the cable out from here. Let's take the Wi-Fi card cables. Good. Now let's unplug the fans. You know, I try to make the video longer, you know what I mean? Because otherwise I cannot cover 10 minutes with uh, with this gaming laptop. Good. So we took the heatsink out. Check here. This is a nice design, right? You have the CPU, you have the GPU. Proper nice one, yeah? Let me grab the thermal camera. Actually, no. Actually, no. Let's check the CPU. 
2.8 ohms. You know what? It's looking good. 2.8 ohms. Thermal camera. Let's wait for the thermal camera to start. Yeah, I need 10 minutes. Let's get the power supply. I already have like 0 0.8 from yesterday laptop. Wait, it's taking no current. It's no ground, right? Hmm. I need a good ground. There is ground, okay. And it's taking 3.4 amps. What is shorted? What you know what here is something, yeah? Check that. You can see. So here was someone deep. I mean proper deep here. It is something. But it's not on the CPU because on that case, I will see the CPU getting hot. And I don't see it. I mean the CPU and GPU are the same. These are proper good news. You know what? I will take the motherboard out because it's very possible to be on the other side of the board. Yeah. So let me take the motherboard out. But ladies and gentlemen, those are very good news. Yeah. I think, I believe we can uh, fix this uh, laptop. Okay, so the motherboard is out. Let's come with some power. Uh, here is 0 0.4 and here is 0 0.5. So here is the plus line. What is that? Oh, huh? what is that? Here somewhere. Wait. This one, I touch it. Check that. I touch it with the probe. You can see it. It's a capacitor. I can't believe it's actually a capacitor. Let's see under the microscope just to localize precisely that capacitor. I mean, it's even point to try to localize, you know, with, uh, with alcohol to see which capacitor it is. It is even point. I mean, you can clearly see this capacitor is gone. So we remove the capacitor. So uh, you have to understand, yeah. In this life, you have to be good, yeah. To be grateful for the life you have, and you have to share, yeah. So we are sharing the capacitor from the motherboards, yeah. So I'm not gonna replace the capacitor. I'm just, you know, it's make me feel better. Actually, I'm sharing a capacitor. Hmm? This is a lucky customer. Do, do you know how many people are there just wishing to have the laptop on my desk to having their capacitor removed? You won't believe it. <laughs> uh, the the people, they have wet dreams, you know, to remove their, their capacitors. <laughs> one day, yeah, one day, let me, have a, let me have a laptop. And on one day, I will remove, I will remove the whole capacitor from the motherboard. And we're going to perform a FCC test. Yeah, I will get the, the spectrum analyzer. And uh, we can see together what uh, the capacitor are doing, actually. One day, one day I'll do it. But I do have a video on the other channel 
you know, actually showing uh, how a back converter is acting with capacitor and without capacitor. So the difference is none. But based on the fact you don't have a capacitor, we made the test here yeah, with one single capacitor, with capacitor and without the capacitor. And uh, no, 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 sorry, no, no, no. We made the test, so we tested with the capacitor exactly on the MOSFET uh, pin, and with the capacitor, uh, we like two centimeters of wire uh, placed there, yeah? After two centimeters of wire. And it was like an unbelievable uh, change. I mean, not change on the back converter. The back converter was working the same. But you will have nearly the same signal on two centimeters of wire. You'll have nearly the same signal compared with, uh, with the output from the back converter on the, on the MOSFET uh, drain. Yeah. We make this kind of experiment trying to explain that, try to explain Diana why the capacitor actually placed exactly on the on the MOSFET. Okay, so we don't need heatsink, right? No, we don't need heatsink. Now why we will need now? Let me grab the my power supply. Power supply 19 volts. We need the Acer connector. Acer is the blue one. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Plug in the charger and I heard a click. Okay, let me raise the current to, yeah, like that. Plug in the charger. No click. Now let's press the power button. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Lord, this is dead. Yeah, pressing the power button, nothing happened. Wait a second. Wait a second. So the main power L is... 19. No. 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 No, the shorted MOSFET have nothing to do with the rest of the laptop. You know what I mean? So if it's a second fault, that fault is, is caused. That fault is caused. And we do have voltage on the on the keyboard. So if we have a second fault, that fault is caused, yeah? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Check on the screen, nothing. I mean, dead, dead. And that sucks, you know? Because I know for sure the only problem on this motherboard, it was the capacitor. That's all. And now it's not coming on. Uh, let me take out the RAM memory. Let me move the RAM memory here. And let's try to find out if uh, if the power button is good. Pressing the power button, nothing. Pressing the power button, nothing. Power button, nothing. This is a dead keyboard. I mean, the keyboard had nothing to do with the capacitor. Let's show the keyboard connector. Yeah, and the laptop came on. Check that at 1.4 amps. You can see. Goes up, down because, uh, yeah, it's getting hot. Lol, the CPU is getting hot. Uh, goes down because we reset the BIOS. Yeah, the GPU is fine. Doesn't need a heat sink. No, no, no. It's fine. It will be fine. It will live. Goes off, comes on. Why we have no picture? That's crazy. It was a shorted capacitor.
That's insane. That's great. You know what? I hate these kind of things. I mean, the fault was so clear, you know, so clear. You have a shorted capacitor. <sighs> okay, let's clean this. Because I moved the RAM memory, can be, can be. Can be, let's put back the RAM memory. Okay, plugging back the charger, pressing the power button, nothing happens. So if you want to start the ISER Nitro, I believe you have to short the first pin from the keyboard. First or the second? I don't know, first or the second? One of them. There's like no picture, no backlight, right? We have picture, I can't believe it's working. It's working. I mean, yeah, the keyboard is dead, but yeah, the laptop is working. Let's see if I press the enter button, maybe only the power button is dead. Yeah, I don't have heatsink over the over the GPU. Okay, pressing the enter button. Nah, the keyboard is dead. No, no, no. The keyboard is dead. And you know, it's make me ask myself why the keyboard is dead. I mean, I didn't see uh like liquid damage. Because the keyboard is not plugged in properly. That's sick. That's crazy. And that's my fault, right? No, it's not my fault. No, no, no. It can't be my fault. No, no, it cannot be my fault. Let's see if the keyboard is working. So pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. I can't believe that's crazy. And the laptop is coming on. Well, that's crazy. The keyboard, it is good. And the laptop is working fine. LOL. What can I say? You know, it's making me ask, I mean, why the manufacturer failed to diagnose and repair this, this laptop? Because uh, the customer said the laptop is like one and a half year old. Why the computer shop failed to spot, diagnose and repair this motherboard? That's another question. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a shorter capacitor. This is the most easiest job ever. You don't even need a thermal camera. You only need to come with the amps and see what is getting hot. I mean, you can push the amps on the power supply a lot higher compared with what I'm working. I mean, I did work like 10 years without a thermal camera and was fine. I have no problems. Just, you know, you get burned from time to time. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy I help this customer. Okay, let me quickly, yeah, let me thermal paste, clean screws, and we can test that after that. Okay, all good. The laptop is back to normal. Pressing the power button, and the laptop should work fine. Yeah, it's on the battery right now. Working great. Touchpad, keyboard. Yeah, perfect. See you tomorrow morning, yeah? Have a coffee together. Yeah. Bye.